Welcome to the first in a series of screencasts focusing on Solus's new 6x10 gig network acceleration blade, or NAB. In this presentation, I'll do a quick overview of Solus messaging appliances and the network acceleration blades. Then I'll introduce the new high-performance, high-scale 6x10 giggy NAB. We'll check out the physical card and dive into the specs to see what makes this card so exciting. From there, we'll get right to the live demos of performance and see the card really rock. Part 2 will show 80 gigabits per second bi-directional bandwidth capacity of the card. Then we'll switch the focus to the new NAB's message processing power and look at two scenarios. Part 3 will look at the ingress and egress for a total of 17 million bi-directional messages per second. And Part 4 will focus on a fan-out scenario with 2 million messages per second ingress and 16 million messages per second egress. As you'll see, this card can really perform. All right, let's get to it. So let's first introduce the Solus Messaging Appliance, in case it's new to you. Solus Messaging Appliances are purpose-built hardware appliances designed for high throughput with low consistent latency. There are two models. The 3260 is the highest capacity and is field upgradable. The appliances follow a modular architecture, which makes it easy to scale capacity or add functionality over time without increasing the solution's footprint in the data center. The key components listed on this slide outline the available options. More information on the appliances and their components is available on the Solus Systems website. In terms of options for NABs, up until now, there were three different cards, the 4x1 GIGI, the 8x1 GIGI, and the 2x10 GIGI. The new 6x10 GIGI is the next step in vertical scalability of our technology. Vertical scalability means that when you need to increase the bandwidth, message rate, or connection count of your Solus appliances, you simply replace a card in your existing appliance. This allows you to take full advantage of the benefits of vertical scalability, enabling massive scalability improvements in the same data center and power envelope, and doing all of this without any increase in administration costs and without needing to change your existing applications to deal with horizontal scaling of your middleware. If you're interested in more details on this, you can check out this post on the Solar Systems tech blog, which includes a nice screencast video. So let's look at the actual card. On the left, you can see the 10 giggy interfaces. Two are visible in the picture, and the other four are below the daughter card. The network processor is on the right with a heat sink, and this is the component that does all the Ethernet, IP, TCP, SSL compression, and messaging I.O. When compared to the 2x10 giggy card, this new card has four times the bandwidth with three times the number of ports. It adds four times the internal memory and two times the processing capacity. And it also has two times the compression and encryption acceleration in hardware. So let's take a look at these improvements and ask, so what does this new hardware give me? First, you get 80 gigabits per second of bidirectional throughput. That's 40 gigabits per second ingress and 40 gigabits per second egress. The new NAB can also route 17 million messages per second. As we'll see in our demos, this is flexible in that it can be 8.5 million messages per second ingress and 8.5 million messages per second egress, or a fan-out scenario where you have 2 million messages per second ingress and close to 16 million messages per second egress. The card also brings with it 60% lower latency in fan-out scenarios. In a future firmware release, the same hardware will support 30,000 concurrent enterprise client connections and hundreds of thousands of concurrent connections from mobile clients and Internet of Things, which is really cool as well, but we'll get into the web clients in a future screencast. With this new high-performance, high-scale NAB, we often get the question, why 6 10 giggy ports, and do I need to connect all the ports to use the card? There is no requirement to connect all the ports. However, when you need more than 10 gigabits per second of messaging capacity, you can use this card to give you vertical scalability and the card can take you from 10 gigabits up to 40 gigabits of traffic in each direction by connecting new ports as your traffic needs scale. Why didn't we just put four ports on the card to line up with a 40 gigabits per second bandwidth capacity? Six ports allows a lot of flexibility in how the card is set up. For example, three lag groups and up to three active standby bonded interfaces to provide a resilient network connection. Or the ports can be used to provide physical network separation between ingress or egress, or between different types of traffic. On this slide, we have six examples of various configuration options. These are just examples. As you can imagine, there are many different possible permutations not shown here. 
Okay, that finishes the quick tour of the hardware. Now it's time to check out the live demos. Each demo is a self-contained screencast that quickly introduces the setup and then jumps right into the live demonstrations. Check out the Solus Tech Blog or the Solus YouTube channel for the video links.